Austrian-born ski champion Friedel Pfeiffer first saw Aspen in the summer of 1943. During Friedel's Camp Hale training, he surveyed, climbed, and hiked every inch of Aspen Mountain. He talked with a receptive town council and ski club and vowed to return after the war to develop Aspen as the greatest ski center of the continent, if not the world. I think uh, that the real development of skiing in Aspen was due uh, to Friedel Pfeiffer. Uh, because he spotted it as a, a place similar to his hometown of uh, St. Anton in Austria, which is a town at the bottom of a mountain. The fall of 1945, he founded the Aspen Ski School with Dartmouth ski team members Percy Rideout and Johnny Litchfield, and he took over operation of the boat tow on Aspen Mountain. It was also in 1945 that Pfeiffer met Walter Pepke and, together with Rideout and Litchfield, presented a plan to develop a ski area on Aspen Mountain. As a result, the Aspen Skiing Corporation was formed. In March 1946, Pfeiffer organized the first annual Roche Cup championships for the upcoming winter. He worked with Dick Durrance to organize the 1950 FIS races, dubbed the most successful championships ever held in the United States. Pfeiffer developed Buttermilk Mountain in 1958 for beginners and intermediates. As president of the International Professional Ski Races Association in 1961, he put on the world's first professional ski race at Buttermilk. Friedel Pfeiffer, one of the cornerstones of Aspen's Renaissance and our honorary co-chairman of the 40th anniversary of skiing celebration.